you know, you guys threw the party, your neighbor reported you, uh, you wanna know how we found out about it? And I'm like, yeah, sure, yeah. Like, what's it, like the neighbor heard the music and called? He's like, nah, the neighbor, the neighbor actually didn't mind up until he looked in his backyard and two kids were <laughs> behind his house. Oh! Hell no! Instrumental make me wanna tell the world that I found something special in you And every time I look into your eyes I see there's nothing to disguise Cause ain't nobody realer than you And I promise that I'm done with all the lies Give a fuck about my pride Cause a nigga really falling for you What's up, RJ Mob? It's your girl, Rocky. And your boy, Jay. And we are back with another video. So today we got nothing too crazy, right? Nothing too nope. crazy. We're going to be mowing down some Popeyes mm -hmm. chicken sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? With extra pickles. I don't like pickles. Still no pickles! Extra pickles on my chicken sandwich. No, nah, absolutely no pickles on the chicken sandwich, but we're gonna be doing that. Um, a lot of weird noises, a couple. <laughs> oh no! Yo, I am not gonna be doing that. I'm sorry. I apologize for whatever he's doing right now. All right, that's nah, that's crazy. jokes. That's jokes. That's jokes. That's, that's jokes. crazy. Cause whenever we watch mukbangs, like I, well, whenever I watch them, cause I always watch mukbangs. I always talk shit and complain about um, people making all the nasty ass sounds, like smacking, like purposely eating with their mouth open. I'm so damn hungry. Me too. I'm so hungry. Yeah. Like, I'm starving right now. I'm hungry. I had a bowl of, I had, well, I had a bowl of cereal. We both had a bowl of cereal for breakfast. I had Fruit Loops. And he had apple jacks. And that's all we've had. Like I'm so hungry. What time is it now? It's like 2.40. Two something. Three o'clock. It's three o'clock. We said that at the same time. <laughs> it's three o'clock pretty much. So three it's five o'clock somewhere. Let's take a shot. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? That's what they say when people take shots. It's what five o'clock. Alcoholics? What? <laughs> oh, like five o'clock, like happy yeah, hour? Yeah, like it's five o'clock somewhere, take a shot. I know people have heard that before. You stay looking at me crazy whenever I say something. When I said oh, my like booger, your booger shit, collection, because yeah. that's perfectly normal. People commented on Everyone saying they had one Everyone has a booger though. collection. People did comment, your grandma had one apparently. She's a nasty motherfucker too. Yo. Y'all all nasty. Oh shit, was, wait, watch out. Be careful. No, no, it's legit. Shit. About to hit somebody. So we about to get our food. Take that money out. Take that money out. Make it pay for it. Make it pay for it. Mm. This shit smells good. Mm. This shit smells good. Mm. This so shit smells hungry. good. I think mm. it. I think it smells good because um we're hungry. Uh, yeah. A few moments later. Like we said in the beginning of this video. We about to get busy Let's with these at Popeyes the chicken sandwiches. Why this shit is so much work to get it out? It's all greasy. Let's My see what the... Get out. Oh, this shit's toasty. Mmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm fucking these fries up. Oh, this look like your butt. Wait, let's bite it at the same time. This look let's like see. your butt. This I have the ketchup in mine. This is how your booty look. Smooth at the bottom. Like Hillary Adam. Like Hillary Adam. Oh shit. That was so funny. One. Two. You got ketchup? I put ketchup in it. Just now you weren't looking. Ketchup and mayo. Mm -hmm. Little Dominican mommy. One. Two. Two. Three. three. All right, you guys, so the real reason for getting you guys here, man, we definitely, so as most of you guys know, most of our like early subscribers and close friends, um, Rock and I went to the same college. 
Um, and in school, right, I'm sure like a lot of people can relate. Those are like some of the craziest years of anyone's lives, right? Wait, let's just put it out there that we did not. So mm, we yeah. knew each other in undergrad, but it wasn't this. Like we yeah, were not dating. We, we were both in relationships. We never even thought of dating. Like, like I saw Jason a few times. I was an RA, and when I saw, like, when I would look at him, I wouldn't be like, "Yo, he's cute, damn!" Like I want him. Cap. It was not yo. It really was never that, cause like I was in a committed, long relationship, like a very long one. It was like four or five years. So, it was never that. It wasn't like oh, and he was in a relationship too. So, you know, just you know, just wanted to put that out there. Oh, you're spilling the soda on you, dumbass motherfucker. Yep. And full disclosure, yes, your boy was in a relationship, mm -hmm. not the greatest relationship, but I never looked at you and said, oh. Damn, I'm finna fuck him. Yeah, I knew you was cute, but I ain't never say, yeah, I'm gonna run down on that. Not, I mean, you didn't say you about to run down. Never. I said you were cute. I was cute. Yeah. That was cute in underground. That was cute. Me and the, the fellas would chat from time to time. That and was I'd be cute. like, I'd be like, like she I'm saying, uh -huh. I'm seeing her a little RA. But I was I'm, crazy. I'm a faithful man. That so. was crazy, but I was cute. Fact. I was so, that crazy. So, yeah, I mean, you guys got the gist of it, right? We went to the same school. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of crazy stories during that time, and I'm sure, like I said before, right, a lot of you guys can relate. Those are the craziest years of your life. Kids, if you're out there and you're contemplating on going to college go. or not, go, bro. That yes, go. school sucks. Everyone hates school. No one wants to do it. But forever. at the end of the day, bro, some of the memories you get and some of the friends you make, you just can't replace that stuff. So definitely nice. do it. Um, but yeah, man, we got some crazy stories in store for you guys. Um, and, I, you know, I want to get into my... Um, you, you ready? You can start with yours first. You ready? Mm-hmm. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right, boom. My nigga. <laughs> so it was spring... 2017 me three of my roommates was it three no me and two of my roommates because our third our, our fourth roommate um he was out in texas training for football um but the three of us right is towards the middle of our semester right mm -hmm. so um all school year we've been going to parties and mind you we had our own crib off campus um but we didn't really want to throw parties because you want to get your security deposit back and you throw parties at college House gets house. fucked, and then you gotta pay the landlord the security deposit. And you played football too in undergrad, so like yep. you were always yep. he played football, so he was you know always at parties, kind of like the life of the party. Type I wasn't shit. the life of the party. You oh well, I wasn't that. We life. didn't go to the parties together, so I wouldn't know. But, but I was. A he was at most right most of the parties. Yeah, I, I was know. out. But I was a captain or whatever, so I had friends and stuff like that. So we're going to all these parties, right? Every weekend we turn it up with our teammates, with our friends. So we just thought about it like, yo, let's throw one banger. Like, let's just throw one banger right quick. So we like, fuck it. We started planning it. Uh, we bought bulls. We um, sent everyone like messages on Snapchat. Like, yo, pull up. Here's our address. Throwing a party or a semester. And mind you, we don't really throw parties because like we said, like, like I said, right, we wanted to usually for the most part keep the house nice. Like we don't want to fuck it up because you gotta pay for that. So it spread like wildfire. So the party starts, we set a time for like eleven PM or something like that. And at first, literally there was only like ten people, like our teammates. And we're we getting nervous, like damn, nobody, nobody wanna come fuck with that. Shit. Like, that shit about to be wet. That yo. ass, like we like, bro, oh. nobody's gonna come yo. to like check us. So, like, no, that's the crazy part about throwing a party. Bro, like and you don't when know I if tell people you, are gonna show up or it's gonna be a dub. Exactly. When that's I tell crazy. you, like we started planning this. That's drunk, so fucking like, crazy. Like the the Friday night Did before. Did you charge? No, nah, we didn't charge. Mm -hmm. But it's like the Friday night before we started talking about it, and um. We were just like, bro, like this has to be lit. So we're planning everything. Like we got a DJ set up. We got music. Yeah, I did this lit. on a Saturday or Friday. This was night? Saturday night. Okay. So we we got everything set up, mm. and mind you, we it's eleven thirty. It's no have? people. I don't really remember, but it's like eleven thirty. There's no people. Party's mm. dead. We like, bro. Let's just go to the bars. So like the kids that were there were like some of our teammates. They were a little bit younger, but they were like popular. But um, yeah. So we get the party going. Um, we got a few people yeah. over, and those people are like, nah, trust me, bro, X, Y, and Z is coming, we're good, blah, 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 blah. So we're like, all right, cool, bet. 
Fast forward maybe 40 minutes later, this shit is going crazy, like crazy, like Project X style. If you've seen the movie, you know what's up. Mind you, it's cold outside, but we got kids in our backyard, on the side of the house. And if any of you ever like went to school or are in school, you know in college towns, your neighbors will call the police like this just to get your party shut, shut that down. shit down. Exactly. In a heartbeat, bruh. Exactly. As soon as they smell party, it's clip. Like, it's like they could smell that shit in the air. Like, they be seeing us on Main Street all hype, talking to each other, congregating in groups. Bruh, they be like planning how they're gonna shut that shit down. They don't mm -hmm. even let that shit get popping. Oh, up. you got some waste shit on the corner. Mayo. But, mm -hmm. um, that's how it is in undergrad. So, Throwing this party, we got everybody outside. So eventually we told everyone like, yo, come in the crib, like we don't want it to get shut down. Cause when you get shut down, the police come, you gotta ticket. show up in court and they ticket. charge you for that. So we got everyone to come inside. So it was going crazy, man, like really going crazy. So it's about a little after midnight and it's been banging for like an hour but we like yo like we're talking amongst each other like yo let's like get out of here in a little bit go to the bars or whatever all right and right when we're about to shut the party down i get the knock on the door police shh, everybody shh. mind you if you guys have been there you know what's up you got over 100 kids in your crib Everybody's and you got to get everyone eyes. quiet you got to turn the music off i come outside yes officer yeah, we got some complaints from your neighbors about a party being thrown here, yada, yada, yada. Maybe some underage drinking. You guys know about that? I mean, we've got a few people here, but if you want, I mean, we can wrap it up. We we're planning on shutting it down anyway. So, boom, we go back inside, party canceled, everybody get the hell out. We're going to the bars, it's a wrap. So, as people are leaving, right, the party's dwindling down a little bit, the officer pulls me aside. Well, he asked for one person out of our crib to come and talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so, me being who I am, I went, um, went to go rap with the officer. And in college towns, usually the police are pretty cool. They understand this thing. So, we get outside, and usually, like I said, with these cops, they're pretty cool for the most part. But usually there's not like a story that they haven't heard there's always some shit that they've seen at these parties it gets crazy these cops know what goes on at college parties but not in this case so the officer pulls me to the side man outside of my house and this is where it gets juicy so my man is like all right so you know you guys threw the party your neighbor reported you uh, you want to know how we found out about it and i'm like yeah sure yeah like was like the neighbor heard the music and called he's like no nah, the neighbor the neighbor actually didn't mind up until he looked in his backyard and two kids were fucking behind his house oh hell no to the no 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 hell to the no i look at the officer bro what bro i bullshit you not bro wait he's not yeah, oh yeah, I want to know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna so redo he it actually didn't even mind. That's I'm gonna redo how he it for saw you. Two people fucking in it. I'm gonna redo it for you. Yeah, officer. So, so you know what happened? What, 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 what gave? Yeah. Who gave you the call? Like, did the neighbor just call in? Like, hey, there's some loud music. Come and break this party up. Said no, man. Your neighbor was actually fine with it. It wasn't until he caught two kids fucking behind his house, and he said it so casual, like so casual. He said the shit. He just. Until we saw two kids fucking behind the house. You probably you know. didn't believe him. Like, Hell no. I'm like, I'm like, bro, what? No fucking you way. Like, There's no kids fucking in the like back yours? of his house. Like, what? No, absolutely not. But, um, so the next day goes by, or a day goes by, um, and one of our, like, homegirls who, like, we knew from school, she, um, hits us up, and she's like, yeah, man, the party you guys had this weekend was crazy blah 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 um but you know i'm pretty pissed off because um the same kids that you guys told us were were fucking in your neighbor's backyard they fucked in the back seat of my car oh what i what? swear to god bro she said the same kids so apparently the they kids got fucking. caught the kids got caught as like a, a guy and a girl and obviously and they get caught by the neighbor wait do y'all know them like do you know no them? Nah, I never even figured out who the, 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 the people were. were. Like, I've never seen them the or anything. So, um, apparently after they got caught by the neighbors, so just picture this, right? Two kids in the back of a, of a crib, wilding late at night. Oh, you hear Wilding me? like this. The neighbor peek out the blinds. Somebody come and look at this. 
Look at this. They dip out. Oh, oh, zip. I'm out. Breeze this way. Oh, this car's unlocked. And they jump right in there. Finish. Finish. So, yeah, man, crazy ass story, though, bro. Like, me and my boys, we laugh about this shit all the time. But a hell of a house party, nonetheless. Like, hell of a house party, bro. Hell of a house party. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's really my story. I thought that was, like, probably my craziest college experience. It was definitely lit. Yo, Dan, I know you're going to watch this. You missed out, bro. You shouldn't have been training. Oh, yeah, you should have been training because that was more meaningful to throw in a banger senior year. But you missed out, bro. You missed out. My craziest college experience was um, my first year in college. So I graduated high school. I was, like, 16 turning 17. So I was pretty young. Like, um, my birthday's in June, you know, it was literally like I graduated high school and I turned 17, so, excuse me, I went to, to college at 17, um, which that's pretty normal, I would say, maybe a little young, but, um, prior to that, like, I didn't really drink liquor, like, I had liquor here and there at, like, family functions, because, you know, I'm Spanish, so that's, like, regular shit, you know, they fucking dip babies, like, pacifiers in the liquor, put in their mouth, like, that's really... Ladies and gentlemen, so we got him. I don't know if you guys what? are his, yes, if you guys are Hispanic, comment down below if that's like happened to you guys or if you guys do that. But like at the age of like 15, I was like taking my cousins and uncles like cups and like trying to fucking down as much as I can while they're oh, looking no. type shit. So I was pretty no bad, but um. I never really got fucked up. I never actually got fucked up up until college. So um, my first year, I was at FLCC, that's a community college, but I stood on campus because it was pretty far from home um, to commute like every day. So we, I was getting ready to go to a party and um, I was pre-gaming, drinking, and we were drinking UV. Now, most college kids know what UV is. It's that cheap, Big bottle of oh, liquor that you just go and grab. I'm it's gonna insert like, a picture right up to the It's gonna like be enough for like mad heads. It's gonna be cheap, like fifteen dollars. It's probably <laughs> even cheaper than that. So like everybody what about can Amsterdam buy. Amsterdam too. Amsterdam too. That's, uh, Twenty dollars. Amsterdam, Scott. Is it Saveca? Like all yeah, that nice. shit. Saveca, Amsterdam, UV, mm -hmm. um, Sky. Isn't that another one? There's like a yeah. bunch of like cheap shit that and like you, you wake just up drag. Exactly. Terrible. Feeling like shit. Mm -hmm. So. Till this day, I remember like the color and the flavor. We had the blue one, which is the blueberry, the blue raspberry, blue, rasp blue raspberry or some shit. And then we had the pink one, which was like pink lemonade or something like that. So till this day, I cannot smell that liquor. Like I cannot drink that liquor because it's done. Like it was just such a bad experience. It was horrible. But your girl did not know her like tolerance. Um, she didn't know her limit, which sometimes I still have a little problem with that, but I like had one too many. I was just chugging that. And also that's the type of liquor that like you don't have to mix. Yeah. Like, you know, so we were talking about that before. Um, like there's certain liquors, like, you know, if you drink, you would know that you do not have to chase. You do uh, not have to mix like Malibu like is one Bailey's. of them. Like, yeah, Bailey's. You could just drink that like that. Mm -hmm. Like those are drinks. You don't really have to mix that. No, no. So um, UV is one of those. Like, you know, if you're having it and you're trying to get fucked up fast, chug that shit. You know, like just drinking that shit that college kids used to do. Dumb shit. <laughs> so I had that. Um, so where I used to live, uh, it was like some nice like townhouse sort of things they were not dorms I did not live in the dorms I, I lived in off-campus housings so every single apartment had a balcony so my crib had a balcony um, and stuff like that so I was fucked up I was lit um, getting ready to go out whatever and all I remember is like the next day people telling me stories like you <laughs> rock like you were bugging you were spazzing like whatever like you was on some shit I was like really like I don't remember none of that Ew, stop. Ew, you're doing that fucking nasty shit that they do in mukbangs. That's how they be eating like this. They really eat. That shit is so annoying, yo. Comment down below if y'all really like when people eat and you can hear them smacking. Actually, comment down below if you have any friends that eat like that. I'll comment right now. Yo, yo God. <laughs> 
That's why I said that. That's why I said that, yo. Jason. Chill, chill, chill. Back to his story. We'll say that for another time. <laughs> we might have to do a video with him. Oh, trust me. So shout out to Kev because, you know, he has our intro lit with Back. that fire ass song. So check his music out. But um, I was saying, though, shit, my hair itch. Um, I had that whatever was drinking was kind of lit. All I remember was they told me that I was off the edge of the fucking balcony talking about I believe I could fly. <laughs> I believe I could touch oh, no. the sky. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Wait. Uh, and anybody who knows Damn. me, so Jason and I, we've been dating for almost three years. Yes, yes. We went to college together. So mm -hmm. although we were not dating and although we mm -hmm. were not together in college or we're like friends, he heard stories of me in undergrad being pretty lit. So, loco, mommy. you know, I was I was kind of crazy mommy when I got loco, mommy. So, you know, he could probably just imagine how that was. You know, that experience was kind of crazy. I believe I could fly. I was thinking, I believe I could fly. I was hanging off the balcony trying to jump. We were on the third floor too, so that would not have been a good fall. But Whoa, that's, the, your last fall. that's one of my craziest <laughs> stories. I have some more, but they're a little. They're too crazy. So that was pretty much it. You know, we're gonna share some more college stories with you guys, the crazier ones, the juicier ones, okay. you know. Um, uh. yeah. Can you stop burping? Stop. But um, comment down below your crazy college experiences, where y'all went to school, if you guys are still in school, like what school you currently attend. Um, like I said, next week we're gonna be going to Miami. So, you know, we're gonna be vlogging out there for you guys. Um, it's kind of for Valentine's Day, but not really. Um, just to kind of spend time together. That's gonna be our first trip of 2020. Yeah. Mm. I was thirsty. <clears throat> That's gonna be our first trip of 2020. So we're really excited for that. Um, you know, we're gonna be going to some cool places, doing some fun stuff. Facts. I'm gonna be looking Facts. real popping. You know, my Facts. hair's gonna Facts. be done. Right now it's looking a little rough, but it's okay. Popping. But yeah, it's so. Okay. Good. But you know, this was just a quick video for you guys. We love you guys. Thank you for supporting. Thanks. Make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Thumbs Follow up. our Instagram. Follow you. And boy. make sure you subscribe. You know, subscribe, turn your post notification on because we are gonna be dropping bangers back to back to back. I never met anybody like you So I wrote this little song about you I hope you listen cause these words is true And you like it when I talk about you I know you like it how I talk about you Big heart, pretty face, got you smiling extra My mistakes in the past really made me grow up Now let me show you I wanna give you